Hello and welcome to the Eprom Mine. Now we have our field of view here, which is what we want, and today's discussion the video that I did, well, the content last night, between eBay lasers, or essentially what is meant to be a work less than one milliwatt eBay laser, versus an official one. So first off, let's just get the batteries in. Oh yeah, the design is inherently flawed. To get the battery to contact properly, I've already had to modify it. So if we just pop that on, put it over there, it doesn't work. Hmm, have I managed to break it? Can you tell this thing's built with excelling quality? So I... Because I wanted to demo one of the things to do with this device, but it doesn't like I'm going to be able to, so you just have to take my word for it. Which is a real shame, because I really wanted to demo this to you. But... If you have patience... Yeah, it's dead. Hey, I'm using the wrong batteries, aren't I? I'm using the dead batteries. <coughs> User error, sorry. <laughs> I have a pair of dead AA AAA batteries. I was using them instead of the new one, so I can demo it, so it won't be broken. Good, that works. Okay, so they're both working. Now, uh, looking through the camera, we're going to show you the brightnesses. This is the Maplin's one. This is the eBay thing. So, the, bearing in mind, this is a Class 2, less than 1 milliwatt 532 nanometers which is the green weight length we shine this at the table and we get a nice respectively bright light which is green and awesome then we do the eBay one which is quite significantly brighter and you can see the beam in the lighting conditions Of course that. So, yeah. Now let's show you something else. Bearing in mind this is also supposed to be under the same rating. In fact, you can see the sticker there. I'm going to show you what first started the alarm bells ringing with this thing. This particular laser radiation. Avoid erect eye exposure. Next thing is when it's saying it's a class 3 laser product with a less than one milliwatt labelling on it. Mm? Less than one milliwatt is class two, and anyone who has done any research into lasers will know that. But this is where it starts to get scary. <laughs> Bearing in mind this is being sold as a class two laser device. Watch this. It literally puts a hole through that. Now we'll show you the Maplings one. You can hold it on there all day. Nothing will happen. This thing is unsafe and labelled that way. Therefore, it is being decommissioned. But I'm not going to take it outside and stamp on it. Instead, its fate will be to be torn down in front of the camera and the actual laser unit itself can be reused in the computing department for wireless communications and of course tone it down and there's a little 
lens system inside, of course, now it doesn't have a battery in place. But you get the idea. That's supposed to be under 1 milliwatt. It is not under... I'm guessing in the below 5 milliwatt category. Whereas this one, so in my advice, spend the extra money and get the product that is to its labelled extent and actually really because as soon as I confirm this next to this point it just yeah <sighs> eBay for lasers avoid the only place I know that sells green pointers is Maplin so if anyone else knows any other places do say because we want to avoid as many people picking up eBay lasers as possible and getting something that is actually specified. So we get rid of this thing. I suppose some of you are mind what about the seller? I shall contact them and inform them the fact that the lasers are unsafe. In fact, I might even give them a copy of this video. I don't know how they'll react to that, but I'm hoping they'll react in a sensible way and start reviewing their supplier of their lasers. They have a hundred pretty much good feedback ratings. Was that something snapping or not? I don't know. No, it wasn't. So that's that thing gone. Okay, so now... With a bit of low, we should be able to just push this out. No, it's turning out to be a bit more elusive than that. Hmm. Hmm. So we're getting a tear down of this thing. And it's turning out to be difficult. Hmm. We might have to get the Dremel out. So yeah, don't get eBay lasers. That's why this thing is being decommissioned. It's not safe, not safe for my purposes. Not really good to be in the house. This one on the other hand from Maplin, perfectly fine. And won't mind chasing that one, although I'll probably keep to the red ones for that mostly. Huh, maybe this is screwing. Hmm. Let's give it a go. <coughs> if I could get that in there. Um, da -da 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 -da. Looking at tools. Let's do this. Yeah, these things are actually quite difficult to get apart. Oh yes, that works. That's screwed in, that is. Which means only one of one thing. So, while I figure out how to get this unit out of here, I'm going to pause the camera. See you in a bit. And this can become a laser communication device for the Unit. I'll tone it down on the power output power though, <laughs> definitely. Oh yeah, don't forget the fake labelling of a fake company, X-Pro. <laughs> Which actually refers to, if I find it, go on Google, X-Pro. Another thing that makes this a laser 
pointer on the dodgy side is that it is illegal, for, while it's not illegal to own something over one milliwatt in power, it's actually illegal to sell anything in this country below that. And they're a UK based seller. Naughty naughties. But yeah, you can see the resemblance, can't you? Hmm. I think some Chinese companies have been doing some counterfeits of trademarks. There are just some things which retain to stay the same no matter what. I've decided, well, Dremel time! <laughs> Oh, I love my Dremel. How f the fun it brings. It's a tool which makes cutting things up a piece of cake. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. It's a good thing this thing wasn't amazingly expensive. It's about 12 quid, but I don't really give a fuck about getting that back. <laughs> I'm more interested in pulling this thing to bits. Anyway, you send it back, what they're going to do? They're going to bloody repackage it and give it to some bloody 12 year old. Because loads of 12 year olds seem to be getting hold of these things. They'll end up burning out their pet's eyes. Or doing something stupid with it. So, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Or would you like to stay for the Dremeling? I reckon you'd like to stay. So we shall make that wish come true. And you will get to watch it get Dremilled. Some say I like my Dremel too much. But who doesn't like a big power tool that you can sit there in your uni room and cut shit up when you're bored? As long as it's not university property, of course, because otherwise you'll lose your deposit if you start cutting the furniture off the wall or whatnot. We move it away from the computer to the floor. Mm -hmm. Along with the camera, plug in the Dremel. And we say goodbye to this stupid little casing that's on it. That can probably go in the electrical waste bin. Everyone ready? So we don't want that to happen too regularly. You see past my arse.
if this thing's been QC passed, then it's 100% likely that some random hunt, hot sexy bird will appear in the room to seduce me in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I think that just about proves it. I've got dangerously close to the lens there. Right. That should just pop off now. Yeah, just minute. The reason why I did it off the desk is so my computer doesn't get all metal dust over it. Right, we should just be able to push it up. Nope. Oh god! Don't tell me I have to cut the other side as well. Hang on. Bear with me. Almost out. See what we're doing here? You're getting a teardown. I haven't done a teardown in far too long. switch. And so we have the little module. Interesting little module. Actually has a little driver on it. Little plastic thing that if we remove it without actually breaking it. The thing doesn't look like it's going to be possible to adjust the power, but here we have the chip is. You are kidding me. It's just using an LM358. I think that's an old. Hang on, let me just double check what, an, what a 358 is, because if I remember correctly, it's an op amp. Because the three LM317 is the adjustable voltage rating. 358. Three, five, eight. We're not too interested. You are kidding me. I'm not wrong. Operational amplifier. Hmm. Sure.
surely you'd want a voltage regulator in there? This thing seems to be more amplifying the signal. Hmm. Yeah, you're beginning to see its design flaws, aren't you? The camera's about to run out, but yeah, you've got this cover thing, you've got this. It's quite an interesting construction when you look at it. And considering it's just from a no-named Chinese company, surprisingly well built. And the part is Texas Instruments, or at least a fake of it. Hmm. That's laser burn and very well organised. Hmm. Interesting. So a little operational amplifier. Let's have a look at the data sheet quickly. And you can see the diode, because these use like a method of like pumping, laser pumping. Is it just a single amp or not? Is it quad amp? Before the end then, thanks for watching!